Get out of my house. Hello everybody and welcome. I am Apple with Prime Tail and today I'm going to talk. Yes. So, um, last time I what they call it, it was my birthday a few days ago. Um, and uh, when I, the last time I did one of these Mario things, it was meant to be to yesterday, but YouTube's uh, uploading thing added an extra day on, so it was uh, two days ago. And, and it was a uh, bit to get it on. So anyway, the rambling. So I'm still excited about it. Why am I celebrating today on Switch? I'm hoping to do it somewhere in February you now. So anyway, today I will be covering if Mario Maker clothes. The first game we're looking at is uh, Bob's World. Oh, that's cute. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just play the game. I hope you like this song because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Instead of tortoises, you get slugs. And there's something I found out. Every time I use the, it used the little bombs, it charges me money to use it. It charges me the coins that I collected. What on earth? It's like, no thanks. I'll keep my uh, flower. Thank you very much. There's not really that much to say other than the what they call it, the. the Controllers are pretty tight, and it's a nice little game to play on a go. Man, I wonder whether you can make stuff. Apparently not. Next is level making, and oh my gosh, the music. Day. An eye, good music, a character, that looks like Marty, the universe of Rick and Marty, got everything here, you've got Doombirds, Got satisfying coins to collect and pick up. Um, yeah, it's basically Mario with a lot of happening. And I love it. Oh, by the way, you better like the song, this is all you get in. Eat summer fun. Rick and Morty. I thought I could smell sofa and skankery. Bad thing though, the uh, control of the keys are stiff, so very clumsy you're going to be going left on right and shooting off in a weird horizontal thing, you know, look at it, the, 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 the vertical to horizontal kind of way, it just doesn't seem natural. Okay, let's just check out the editing part of this. Yeah. 
the next thing we have is Mr. Baker. So funny enough, I used to have this on my phone. And it's not the best, but not the worst. It's uh, meh. So, what's more fun, kids, than playing as somebody with a dead end job? Okay, that was bogus how I died. <laughs> and is like, Hooray, you exist! Oh, oh yes, you know what you did. You were hardly touching the thing. At least you can guarantee one thing. You're not going to get the same music on each level. In the turtles, it's slugs. And I've got a hand it for you. In this game, the uh, controllers are snappy. The um, jumping's alright. It's just a shame about the bogus enemies on the tile sets. Time I remember playing this game, we had a costume style well, head thing, it, uh, things to put on your head, like hats and like animal costu uh, costumes, sort of mascot hats. And I think you know what level I made without it. It did have a fox one, so play my level. I would have. Uh, Used a fox head if I unlocked it, but it turns out I haven't yet. Ugh. Oh, this is cute. It reminds me of the title scene of Mario. Oh, calm down, Sam. Don't say my name. Fine. I'll be known as Ethelred Flenta. More or less. Editing, making your own levels without a uh, 100 uh, uh, challenge or whatever, or whatnot. This is NES emulator. I thought it was a Super Mario uh, Maker clone, but turns out it's not, and I can't do anything. That's it for me. I'm gonna say thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I'm Phil Fancher. I'm signing out.